Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to perform a test or trial run on a Hawkins brand pressure cooker. I'll be running this demo today on my three liter Hawkins Classic that's about 10 years old. All the directions for this test come directly from the Hawkins website. I'll put a link to the page in the description under their trial run before cooking page. So obviously this test was meant for people with brand new pressure cookers to try them out before actually cooking food in them. But there's no reason why someone with an older unit like mine that's been sitting around unused for a while couldn't use these same instructions to test it out and make sure it's still working properly. This video will apply to all Hawkins cookers that have the external pressure regulator or vent weight like this that clicks onto the steam vent like that. If you have a brand of pressure cooker other than a Hawkins, you can still watch this to get an idea of what a pressure cooker does, but you should really go to the manufacturer's website to find specific directions on how to use it and how to test it. So we're ready to start. If your pot is brand new, make sure it doesn't have any stickers or adhesive on it. You can remove all that stuff with baby oil or goo gone. Make sure if your pot's been in storage or sitting around for a while, make sure it's clean. So there's the vent weight and the steam vent. The only other real moving part on this unit is the ceiling ring or gasket and it's that solid band of rubber that sits on the inside lip of the lid and just make sure that it's not dented or kinked or has any chunks taken out of it just make sure it's in good solid shape the other thing to do before we start is to make sure you can see through from the top to the bottom of the lid through the steam vent it should be completely clear i can see the camera make sure that that hole is free and clear of any junk so that the steam can pass through freely. You start with the ceiling ring on the lid, but you do not attach the vent weight or pressure regulator. Leave that off until the pot comes to pressure. I'll show you. So we'll move the pot onto our stovetop and add two cups of water to it. It also does say for brand new pots to add a teaspoon of lemon juice or vinegar to the water. Now this only applies to non-anodized pots like the Classic. Um, apparently it keeps from discoloring the pot. I did not do that when I first tested my pot. You can see it has become somewhat discolored. Whether or not that discoloration you think will bother you in the future is completely up to you. At this point, you can add your lemon juice or vinegar if you have chosen to do that. And now we're gonna attach the lid, remember, with the pressure regulator taken off and the sealing ring on. We'll attach our lid. And when you get the lid on, make sure that the lid is seated right in the center of the pot. Sometimes it's possible for the lid to get pushed off center just a little bit so that steam can escape through the side of the ceiling ring, which is not what we want. And then turn the burner on high. Right now we're just waiting for the pot to start boiling and the steam to come out of the steam vent, at which point we know our steam vent is working properly and our gasket's working properly. And the next thing we'll do is test the pressure regulator just by popping it in place on top of the steam vent. And then the pot will come to full pressure, lift that vent weight and whistle. And I'll show you what that looks like. So you can see now steam has started to come out of the steam vent. If your ceiling ring is off center and there's steam escaping through there, you need to center the lid, but don't do it now because the pot's really hot. So turn it off and let it cool and start the test over again. So we know that our steam vent's working properly. Now it's time to test the pressure regulator. And we do that by just clicking it into place right on top of the steam vent. When you press it down, do not keep your hands there over the steam vent for any longer than it takes to just click it into place just like that. Right now, the pot is coming up to full pressure and we'll know that it gets there when the pot whistles for the first time. And that happens when the pressure regulator lifts and a big burst of steam comes out from underneath the vent weight. It takes about two minutes. And all this time, you'll hear it start to hiss, water might start to creep out and boil on the top of the pot. That's totally normal. At full pressure, it will do that, which is also known as a whistle. And when it does that, you know that your pot is working properly. So at this point, we're gonna turn the heat down to about medium. The pot will continue to whistle, but it shouldn't whistle more than three or four times a minute while you're cooking your food. If it does, 
turn the heat down a little bit more. In order to release pressure from the pot, turn it off and you can lift the pressure regulator with a long handled spoon or a knife. You just wrap your hand up, make sure you protect it from the steam, stick it in that little loop right there and lift up. If you lift up on the vent weight and there's no steam or noise, you know that all the pressure's out of there and you can release the lid. And there you go. The basic process is in pressure cooking, bring your pot up to full pressure. You hear that whistle, you know it's there. At that point, you turn it down to medium and start your timer. You should hear about three or four whistles per minute while your food is cooking at operating pressure. Thanks for watching. Please ask me questions in the comments. I'm happy to answer them. I look forward to my next video with you. I'll be cooking garbanzo beans and showing you a great recipe for that. Until then, please like and subscribe if this video helped you out. See you on the next one.